DXP diecast racing. This is what we're going to put on the track today. We're going to do a little bit of some stock car action right there. This is the Velocitor right here, old school car. Back in 1995, made in China. I'm going to try some of these generic stock cars and uh, see if we can get some of these on the track. Ooh, I bought that one for $2 way back when. Velocitor. The Buick Stalker right here. This is the solid yellow version. This is metal on metal, another $2 car. Both of those are metal on metal. This one comes from 1995 as well. Got this guy right here, the T-Bird Stalker. Nice livery on it. It is from 2001, is that China? Made in China. Malaysia or Thailand as marked, hmm. This one is, it says it right there, folks. As I look in there, you probably have a hard time seeing underneath that $2, $2 sticker, but it does say China. T-Bird stock car from Matchbox, super fast. Seen this one right here with the gold swirl wheels. I don't know what you call those things. This one comes in 1993, so it's the old one of this, this bunch. It says, made in Thailand, printed in Hong Kong. But that definitely says, I think it says China, or did it say Thailand? I'm having a hard time. I'm not even showing you on the, on the card here. I can't make that out. Anyway, there it is. T-Bird Stalker. The Havoline, real pretty car with the ultra hot wheels. This one is in 1990 right there. Plastic bottom, Malaysia based. Plastic bottom, metal top. This has got a metal bottom, plastic top, Chevy Stalker, and with the purple right there with the little Tiki Man or guy or something like that with some skulls on it. This comes to us from, oh, this is the new oldie, no, 1997. 1997, not quite as old. Got this one right here. This is a T-Bird stock car from Matchbox. This one does say China on the bottom. I've already checked it out. That's a China-based car right there. So if we can find a year on it, 1996 for this one. And then to round out the eight, we're going to have to put in another Matchbox right here. Right there, Matchbox T-Bird Stalker. Comes from 1997, and that one is as well as China. So there you go. We got eight stock cars, three Matchbox, and five Hot Wheels. We're going to put on the track. Which one do you like? Which one do you like right there out of these eight? Let's put them on the track, see if we can find some speed on them. Maybe they can get into one of the cases. Stay with me. All right, we got the track all cleaned up. We are ready to race. These are your eight stock cars. I think what we need to do first is weigh them and see how much they weigh. Let's start off with this matchbox right here. Peterson Pistons. Comes in at 36.65. It will be taking on the Mattel car here and it's a little bit heavier 42.59 this guy is probably gonna be the heaviest one of the bunch this stalker 54.93 it'll be taking on the Havoline car really pretty car 43.45 the other matchbox here the Widener 37.21. We got the T-Bird Stalker right here. 
44.53. Now, I'm not going to remember these weights. This may be the lightest one of the bunch right here. Nope. 36.30. Close, but not quite the not quite the lightest. And then this guy right here, Matchbox, 37.36. This is the way we're going to race them. Let's see if we get any speed out of these stalkers here. Turn my thing off. We'll put up the old Peterson Pistons against the Hot Wheels car here, the Mattel. Put the old Mattel over here in lane one. Matchbox in lane two, gonna be interesting. Got three matchboxes and five Hot Wheels in this race. It's about 70, probably about 71, 72 degrees. A little bit rainy outside, but it's gonna be nice. Let's see, ready, set, go. Tail car, definitely the fastest. 2208 to a 2251, 2208, not bad. Not bad at all. 2208, time to beat. Let's swap lanes here. Matchbox over here in lane one. And a tail car in lane two. Ready, set, go. Oh, yeah, definitely a little bit faster right there. 2208, good, consistent time. 2229 for the matchbox. We will move. The Velocitor over here. Let's do this one right here. This is the big heavy right here. This Buick Stalker going up against that beautiful T-Bird with the Ultra Hots, which we will start in lane one and put the old Buick Stalker over here in lane two. Buick Stalker, we've got a decent weight. Ready, set, go. Oh, but the Haviland said not today. 2197 to a 2238. 2197, that's a good time. I believe that one's a little bit faster than the other one that I have that's already opened. 2197, time to beat. Ready, set, go. Oh yeah, 2195 to a 2230. Good times by the Haviland, by the Haviland car right there. I, I bought some of these guys right here. Some of them have got the stickers on them. Uh, I've never found one that's extremely fast, inside, outside, as long as I've been doing this. But uh, I like I know a lot of people like these cars because of the metal base, but I just don't get any luck in out of them. And once again, no luck. Matchbox, the Widener, going up against the Hot Wheels Thunderbird. We're gonna put the Hot Wheels Thunderbird in lane one. Put the matchbox over here in lane two. Ready, set, go. Ooh, Hot Wheels. Thunderbird, 22.29 to a 22.78. Not as fast as I would want him to be. It's a nice looking little car for a matchbox. Just does not seem to be very fast. Thunderbird Stalker. Got several of those too. I usually buy those if I can find them. Ready, set, go. Oh yeah, he's a little bit quicker. 22, 23. Not quite as fast as those other guys. That's a nice car. Makes for a good, a good racer. All right, we've got this purple one right here with the crazy graphics as you can see. Put him right there, lane one. And the other match, the Race Tech match box in lane two. Ready, set, go. Ooh, that match box. 22.20 to a 22.75. 22.20, time to beat. Right there. 2220, 2275 on the old plastic top metal base. Ready, set, go. That purple car is just not very quick. 2216 right there for the times. So we got a matchbox in anyway. 
Put you over here to the side. Let's swap them up a little bit here. Let's do it like this. See what we got. Haveline versus the Matchbox. Matchbox going to lane one. The Haveline. So far, the fastest car of the day. Going to lane two. Ready, set, go. Haveline car. 21.96 to a 22.10. The little Matchbox is getting faster. Matchbox is getting faster. Breaking in time a little bit. We'll put the Haveline car over here. Matchbox right here. 21.96, time to beat. I don't think the Matchbox has got enough in it. Ready, set, go. Haveline car. 21.90 to a 22.10. Well, they're both getting a little bit quicker. But the Haveline car is going to take it. That may be worth a rework. I don't know. And now we've got the Thunderbird Stalker. I don't know how many of these I've gotten over the years. Uh, I need to race some of the ones that I've already got opened, I guess. And the Mattel car. Ready, set, go! Now it's a Hot Wheel. 2200 to a 2221. It's a Hot Wheel. It's a, I think that's a Thunderbird. That looks kind of like a Thunderbird too, the old school Thunderbird look right there. And that's a newer Thunderbird. 2200, time to beat. For these cars, the newer Thunderbird body style in that lane, and the old school one, the Velocitor, I believe is what they call it. Ready, set, go. Lost her all the way down. 2196 to a 2217. All right. Good deal. Maybe we'll have a good race. Good finals here. Between the Haveline car and the Hot Wheels Mattel car. Here we go. Let's find us a winner. Haveline car in lane one. Put that guy in lane two. Here we go. Who you got? Haveline or the black Mattel car? Ready, set, go. Haveline car got him 2188 to a 2196. Definitely getting faster at the Ultra Hots. It's fastest run so far, 2188. Not bad. Not bad. That's a good running Haveline car. It's the fastest one I've, I own, I believe. Ready, set, go. Oh, and he got him. Pulled her away from him on the straight. 2190 to a 2195. Both of those cars running pretty good. Straighten up my official MDG stop back. Really appreciate that. So there's your winner, Mr. Haveline. Now, what did he weigh? Y'all may remember, but I don't. He's coming in at 4345. So. He will be taking on this case right here. Oh, brother. Oh, brother. We had the dirty gatekeeper for a long time. Now we have this guy right there, the Roadrunner. You got to beat the Roadrunner to get into this case. Oh, Roadrunner. I'd like to find a few more Roadrunners, but I don't think I'm going to. The uh, I can't even find the Tweety Birds now. Somebody's already got them from where I was picking all these up from. But that's okay. It's all right. Maybe at a toy store or a uh, car show or something. Here we go. Who you got? Roadrunner or the Haveline? Ready, set, go. Decent race. Woo. Roadrunner. Pretty quick. 2178. Well, you're going to have to uh, to a 2190. I don't think we're going to get faster than that. 2178 for a gatekeeper is pretty dang ridiculous. But I'm telling you, it takes a lot of cars. It takes a lot of cars to get there. Ready, set, go. Oh, yeah. Passed him up. 2179 to a 2188. Not bad. Not bad. Not a bad showing. But, man, you just can't get past the Roadrunner. Let's see what this Mattel ran. See in the 30 gram range? 
42. Eh, he's not gonna he's not gonna get there. This guy right here was decent. He's in the 30 37. Which how much was he again? 40. He's not gonna quite get it. Let's try here be the fastest one out of the bunch down here. Let's just race him for the fun of it. See if he can get in. I don't think he can can get in. We may do something here in a second with all that. All right. To get into this case right here, Matchbox has got to go up against this crazy Mercedes right here. Personally, I don't think he's got enough to do it. The Matchbox goes in lane one. The Mercedes goes in lane two. That Mercedes is such a good runner. It is a good running car for what it is. Ready, set, go. Oh, yeah. 2197 to a 2208. Man, that matchbox is getting quicker, though. Getting quicker. 2197. Seems like every time he goes down, he gets just a little bit quicker. So what he does in this outside lane. Matchbox versus Mercedes Hot Wheels. Ready, set, go. Oh, yeah. Got him all the way out of the gate. 2194 to 2215. All right. So the Matchbox is going to hold his ground. I mean, not the Matchbox. The Mercedes, I mean. Going to hold his spot right here as the gatekeeper for that class. Here, let's do something here. I was asked maybe, just maybe... I got some dirty gatekeepers. <laughs> oh, maybe, I don't know. Here, let's do this for the fun of it. Let's just try this. I don't race these a whole lot on on air. Let's race them against each other. Let's see if this Roadrunner can beat the Zamac Ford F-150 and move up the ranks, just in case. Just in case we got something out of whack in this case, or maybe the humidity is affecting things a little bit different, or something to that nature. Let's just see. Roadrunner, truck. Truck should get him. Ready, set, go. Woo, Roadrunner said no. All right, so there's a potential for another one. 2188 to a 2181. This Zamac Ford F-150 could get shuffled back down. I don't know. I don't do this very often, at least not on camera. Let's see what happens. Ready, set, go. Oh yeah, Dirty Bird right there. Dirty Bird's a little bit faster. Well, we may have to rerun. We have to rerun that race here. Let's see if the Dirty Bird can keep on moving up. Um, <clears throat> We just put this one in here not long ago. Let's move him up to this Ferrari. Let's see if he's faster than the Ferrari. I mean, he the Ferrari obviously beat him to get in. So, let's just see what happens. Ready, set, go. A little recalibration here, and look, the Roadrunner. 2183 to a 2188. Isn't that crazy? It's crazy sometimes that these cars will change like that. It's crazy. I mean, these things sit out here. I know a lot of people are like, oh, man, you let them sit out there in the dust and the humidity and the temperature and the elements. Yeah, I mean, that's you're right. I do. Ready, set, go. Ah, uh, Ferrari got him. 177. That's why he's faster. Here he was. Should have been anyway. All right. Well, let's race him here just for the fun of it. See about this guy right here. This is way too fast. This is a FTE way too fast. We'll see if we can get him up at least one more. Don't know. We'll find out. Way too fast. FTE version. Ready, set, go. Old Roadrunner. 179 to a 186. 179 to a 186. Let's swap them up right here. Put the old way too fast over here. Old dirty bird right there. 
Ready, set, go. Oh, yeah, look, he's faster than him. All right. Well, 178 to 183. All right, well, let's do this then. Let's do some more calibrating here. Let's put the truck up against this guy. And then the loser of this will take on the uh, Haviland car and see if he can get back in. Maybe he's faster than one of these guys. Ready, set, go. That was a good race. Way too fast. 182 to a 189. I'm going to swap them around here. Put you over here. And there's, uh, I'm telling you, you get bad air off these trucks. You get some bad air off those trucks. Ready, set, go. Way too fast. Got him again. All right, so truck is the gatekeeper now. All right. Well, let's rerun. Let's rerun. This guy right here against this guy and see who is now gonna be the gatekeeper. Here we go. All right, two forwards going at it. Who you got? Who you got right there? Ready, set, go. Truck 184 to 196. Truck says, you may have moved me down a couple of spots, but I'm not giving up my rank. At least not yet, anyway. At least not yet. Here we go. Ready, set, go. Truck got him. All right. So the truck is the true gatekeeper, 191 to a 193. So the truck will go back into the case. The Haviland car will sit out. Nice looking car. Ah, uh, nobody else is worthy. Thanks very much for watching. There's some stock cars for you. Kind of a quick video, not super long, but you know, sometimes we don't need to be really long. DXP diecast racing. Look, I got some glare back here going on in the old signage. D what if I do it like that? DXP diecast racing. Hope you enjoyed it. A little calibration, a little bit of racing. Like. Subscribe, comment. Thanks for everybody who for what you do out there. Appreciate you. Hope you all have a blessed day. And uh, I'll see you on the track.